How long does someone live with COL? What is the average life expectancy? Is there a cure? It's a chronic disease, and in 2022, CLL is not curable with the currently available therapies that we have. So it's a diagnosis that patients live alongside. For patients who need treatment, we do have targeted therapies now, and we rarely, if ever, use chemotherapy. So these targeted pills, patients who need treatment are able to take over the course of many years. In terms of the life expectancy with someone for CLL, it really varies by patient, but many patients, it is a disease of older patients, end up dying with the disease rather than from the disease from other medical conditions. It's very different from other leukemias, particularly the acute leukemias. It has to be individualized, your treatment plan with your doctor, because different patients present differently You know, on that spectrum, like I said, there's a third of patients who never need treatment, and then there's you know a third of patients who need treatment at the time of diagnosis. And so it's very different and individual dependent. There will be people you know who still have relapsed uh, CLL despite treatment with many of the treatments, and others who who might not even need a treatment. So it's very heterogeneous in terms of how it presents in the individual patient. This being a cancer of the immune system, there's some other things to keep in mind. Even if you don't need treatment for your CLL, you are immunocompromised compared to someone without CLL. In our clinic, we tell patients to be vigilant about vaccinations. You know, patients with CLL might not be able to mount the same response to a vaccination as an individual without. Live vaccines are not recommended, but other vaccines um, including the COVID vaccine vaccination series is recommended for patients with CLL. The other thing to keep on top of is that by virtue of this being a cancer of the immune system, you are at increased risk for other secondary cancers, including things like skin cancers. So we recommend patients see a dermatologist for a skin check once a year and stay up to date on things like colonoscopy, mammogram, pap smear, all the regular age-appropriate cancer screenings. Chronic lymphocytic leukemia belongs to the category of indolent lymphoproliferative disorders. So when uh, we discuss the, the diagnosis, I know that the um, worrisome term of leukemia is basically uh, evocating uh, a, a scenario when uh, the, the death is uh, close, uh, let's say. But this is not the case uh, because this is a chronic disorder. So I wish to focus on uh, the uh, chronicity of this disease, uh, meaning that in most cases we can follow patients over time without requiring treatment administration. And we had made huge progresses in the management of this disease in the last years. So uh, even if the disease progresses and requires treatment, uh, the life expectancy is uh, greatly improved in this disease. And what we are working on is to provide the patient with the same life expectancy and quality of life of age matched population. Of course, we cannot guarantee immortality, but the aim of our management of patients with chronic lymphocytic leukemia is to give them the same life expectancy and uh, quality of life of people without this diagnosis.